If I gave you a lead's full name and their website URL, how long do you think it would take you to generate a full lead research report like the one you're seeing on screen? Probably quite a while, right? I mean, you've got to find all of their socials, you need to find job titles, you need to find hair cut, their industry, phone numbers, you need to find out their service offerings, you need to find out their recent activity, and so much more. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an AI agent that is able to find out anything about any lead in only a couple of minutes. It's super easy to set up. I'm going to give you all the instructions, all of the prompts, and all the descriptions. And also, I'm going to show you how you can attach this agent into a form so whenever you get a new inbound lead whether this is on your website or an ad campaign whatever it may be every single lead will be able to be enriched super quickly and you'll get a full report just like this very neat very tidy and very helpful so let's get started okay so the tools that you will need to make this possible you're going to need relevance ai which you can see on screen now this is what we're going to use to build the agent also we're going to need make.com very cheap this is the automation software that we're going to use to tie the agent to the form if you just want the agent all you'll need is relevance ai that's literally it and we're also going to need some sort of form builder and again this is just for the intake form automation if you just want the agent the conversational research agent you don't need any of this all you need is relevance so that could be type form fill out forms which is what i use anything that has a web hook will do also you're going to need access to claude's api which is super cheap it's not a big deal and that's about it so the first thing that you want to do is you want to head to relevanceai.com once you're here then you want to sign up and create a new account and you can get started completely for free there should be enough credits to run this a couple of times if you're just a business owner using this you probably won't need to get a paid plan and once you sign up this is what you will see as you can see we've got all of our agents here we've got lows here so just completely ignore them and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here and hit new agent so this is how we're going to build a new ai agent now relevance ai is so good that they actually have an ai agent that can build ai agents but in this case we're not going to want to use this you're going to want to come down here and just hit build from scratch now you're here you want to give the agent a name research agent for youtube now a quick little crash course of ai agents you basically have two you've got the main prompt and you've got tools so think about it like the brain of the agent and then arms that allow the agent to actually do things now the first thing that we need to do is we need to write the prompt or the core instructions then after that we can add in the tools so to make your life a lot easier i have actually already written the core instructions for this ai agent and to get this all you're going to want to do is come to our free ai learning center and to get access it's super simple go down to our description and you will see a link that says free template access click on that link fill in the form and in a couple of minutes you will receive an email with your access link to our learning center completely for free and once you're in come down here to sales pipeline automations now there's loads of stuff in here feel free to have a look around but you're going to want to come all the way down to here it's called improved ai research agent now this will stand out because obviously i'm referencing this in the youtube video it actually doesn't have a card so it should make it a bit easier to find click on that and once you're in you'll have everything that you'll need to get this set up so you're going to want to just copy and paste literally the entire core instructions that's how easy it is copy that and then head back to relevance and literally just paste everything in okay so let's have a quick look at what we've got so we've got the role we're basically immersing this ai agent in a role you're a powerful lead intelligence agent built for deep web research enrichment and profiling of leads we're just saying either for individuals or companies you specialize in the following things basically just telling it listen you're really good at this one task and then we're down to the execution strategy so we're basically telling it how to use its tools that's what the core instruction is we give it instructions we give it tools describe the task so whenever a task is presented to the agent knows exactly what to do okay so you're going to see this a lot where basically it says unknown reference and don't worry about that that basically is just where a tool is meant to be so keep these in for now and whenever we add in the tools we'll be able to swap it in and then just go like this and reference the tool uh, to replace unknown reference now what i would recommend before we get into the tools is actually adding in some context about your business you can either do that in knowledge so if you have a file with loads of information about your business just drop it in here and the agent will use this to help it generate a response more tailored to your business so for example they could research a company that's just booked in and you could identify how you you could potentially help them or it could prepare notes for a sales call you get the idea or what you could do is you could just add some basic knowledge in you know like a paragraph down here near the final instructions obviously i can't help with that literally just write it out yourself or get chat gpt to scan your website and write it for you okay so we've got the core instructions in let's get some tools in so you just want to head over to the tools section and come to add tool now in the learning center under the core instructions section we can see i've got this tools bit which basically just highlights every single tool that we need and the description of the tool so basically in the tools section i'll show you now so so there's a few components starting a tool the first one is just simply adding it in and make sure and you've got the right one the second is how the tool is described to the agent so for example i could come in here for perform google search which is as simple as it sounds it's literally just the agent making a google search writing its own query and then searching it up 
So you could say only look up this specific website, for example. So in the knowledge base, I have the exact tool that you need and the description, as you can see here. So we've got the first tool, enrich lead score by email, and then description. Use this tool to extract all available information about the person or company tied to an email address. So all you need to do here is literally search up the name of the tool, like so. The tool will pop up and you just want to clone it into your agent. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these tools, simply look them up and add them into the agent. And then once I do that, we can get back from the description. Quick note for the Facebook tools, if you want to research individuals on Facebook, you're going to have to add a connection to your account to get access to the Facebook API. But that's super simple. If you already have a Facebook account, um, all you need to do is come here to hit add account and then just log in. It'll bring you up to an OAuth and then all you need to do is add in your password and your email address and then you're in. So I've got this dummy account that I'll just use for the sake of this video. Okay, so we have all of the tools successfully added into your agent. Super simple. Now, one thing to be careful about, sometimes with relevance, because a lot of these tools are like natively built by relevance, the name of them may change. So just be careful if it's a few months after uploading this video and you're watching this, the names may have changed, but I promise you all these tools will be in there, particularly these ones, you know, the names may change a good bit. Also, what you could do is you could get relevance to build your own tools. You know, I've done that for some before, just getting it to build like, you know, LinkedIn research tools. It's really, really good at that. But anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, so all we need to do now is add in the descriptions of these tools. For example, this here, you just want to copy that. So this is for the enriched lead score by email. You just want to come here, paste that in. Boom. It really is as easy as that. You just want to do that for each tool. Copy the description, paste it in the corresponding tool. So Facebook, get page, copy that, come here, paste it in. Simple as that. You just want to do that for all 10 tools. Once that's done, just make sure you hit save. Okay, so do you remember in the core instructions bit, there was all these unknown reference sections. Basically, what we want to do now is delete them. So work through the entire system prompt and just delete them. And I'll tell you where you can map in the tools. Okay, so all the little unknown reference sections have been deleted. Now it's time to map in the tools. So starting from the top to add in a tool you're basically saying okay for this part of the enrichment process use this tool so you just want to reference it so to do that you want to hit forward slash then come to tools and then you'll be able to reference them and then it'll all pop up for you to easily map in so the first one initial enrichment by email you're going to want to hit this one boom and it'll pop up and for the google search you guessed it we're going to add in the google tool now we're going to reference both of the linkedin tools it doesn't really matter um in what order now we're going to map in both of the facebook ones here okay and the rest of them will go in here so the top one's the lead enrichment tool the one below that is company research with website and then the last remaining ones just map them both in below you don't really need to add anything in there as well and then make sure you hit save and that's it the ai agent is fully built okay let's give it a quick test okay so i'll say please research our website okay and we can see it has successfully run and it didn't even need to use all the tools all it needed was three and that's the great thing about these agents it will basically use its best judgment to decide which tools to use you know it may research an individual different to your company and select which tools it feels is appropriate for each task so now i'm going to show you a really simple automation that you can use to actually bring this agent to life. Basically, what we're doing as the little dots are explaining, you take an input from a form, ideally a website URL, a lead name, and a LinkedIn URL. You send that information to the relevance agent that we just built. Claude formats the output, puts it in a PDF, and then emails you the response. So I'll show you how you can set this up now. So the first step is going to be the form. I use fill out forms. You can use literally whatever you want because I guarantee you that they have um, a native integration with Make. So if I say like type form, for example, or I'll just type in form, yeah, we can see there's loads. So whichever one you're using, I dare say it will probably be in make, but if not, create a webhook module, come in, add a new webhook and copy the address to your clipboard. Go into your form builder. And if you go into settings, you can probably choose a form and a webhook URL to post the results to. So whenever somebody submits the form, this module will trigger, triggering the scenario in the same way that this will. Anyway, there's a hundred different variants of this. So I'm just gonna quickly breeze through. This is the example form that we have set up. Imagine this can be something on your website. You can come in, you can embed it on your site and connect up the back end. We're taking all of this information, obviously, the more the merrier for the agent, the more information it has, the easier it will be to enrich you. And to connect the two, either use the webhook method that I just showed you, or you can use fill out forms. I'm pretty sure somewhere in our learning center, we have an affiliate link if you want to go and test it out. It's a great tool, really good um, visual, really good drag and drop form builder. Go and check it out. Anyway, whatever method you're using, just make sure you connect it, save and give it a quick test. Okay, and I'll hit submit and we're receiving it. Okay. Next, you want to get a relevance module. You want to hit on the message and agent action. Now you're going have to set up a connection if you haven't already done so to do this you literally just come here to add give it a name and then if you go into relevance you're going to want to come here and hit add and then in relevance if you navigate i think it's somewhere in the settings of the profile section you'll be able to find it very easily you can get your account or your environment information if not if you just go to the home page all of this information except the api key is in your browser url yeah like if i show you here yeah so see this here this corresponds to the region and then the project id i believe is is 
this one here. I could be wrong though, so make sure you double check. And then your API key, come to integrations and API keys, hit relevance API keys and create a new key. Then copy and bring it in here. Then all your agents will load here. Research agent for YouTube, connect that in. Now this is the message that we're sending to the agent to prompt it to complete its task. And you're gonna wanna exactly copy what I have on screen. Obviously, depending on the variables and fields that you're capturing in your form, adjust accordingly. Hit save. Now you're gonna wanna add in an anthropic create a prompt module. Now you're gonna wanna go to Claude, create in your account and go to the dev section and basically add in your credit or debit card so that whenever you use the api it can bill it you can get started with like five dollars it's super cheap it's very easy there's loads of tutorials on youtube and literally just ask ChatGPT if you don't know how come here and add in your api key and then hit save obviously i've already done that now for the model you're either going to want to choose sonnet 3.5 or sonnet 3.7 both are really good this one's just a bit cheaper i believe and the max tokens you can put quite high just make sure that it won't cut the answer off short then you're going to want to show advanced settings and i have already got this prompt pasted in but on the page that we were at before on our learning center i have the entire prompt laid out all you need to do is copy and paste and change a few variables like your branding and your company name but literally that page from before where all of the tools and the system prompt for the ai agent was this is also in there at the bottom just copy and paste it in and once you've done that you're going to want to add a message this is a user message come here and hit user then the content is going to be text and you're going to want to copy this close enough make sure we're mapping in the information from the relevance agent hit save then you're going to want to go to PDF Co and sign up. It is actually completely for free to get started. You can get like loads of usage for free to start with. It's not like one of those scams that you see. Get started, go in, and literally as soon as you log in, you'll see your API key. And that's all you need to make an integration and make, which is obviously why we're there. So come here, add in PDF Co. And once you've made up your connection, you're going to want to convert HTML to PDF. Literally, and it really is as simple as Claude. Literally just one API key is all you need. As soon as you're in, the first thing you will see is a big API key. You couldn't miss it. Now consider this unlimited PDF. PDF code API usage. I mean, it lasted us forever. Now we've got a paid plan. Anyway, so once you're in and you've got your connection set up, you're going to want to come here and hit HTML to PDF. Then this little field is going to pop up below with this text. You want to just remove that and paste in the text response from Claude. I put file name. You can come down here and just say full name or something related to the user who filled in the form and just say report. Then for the last module is going to be just an email module and we're going to be sending an email. Make your connection, simply just sign in, whether it's Google or Microsoft or whatever you're using super simple i'm going to assume you're sending this information to yourself or to your team so just put your team or your own email in here lead report you can put in the name just so you know who it actually is who's been reported but a subject you can put whatever you want you can put full name and then just dash report whatever you want the important point is in the attachments you want to hit add attachment then automatically this will pop up just making sure the pdf that has been generated here with the cloud html in it is being sent in the email and then for content you could also put the html in here it'll also render in the email if you want to just see it quicker and then once you've done that just hit save make sure you spam save so you know you're not going to lose it that's it done and this is what the output looks like we can see i've just mapped in the html actually into the email and then we can see this is what the output looks like there has been loads of attempts of me uh using it and i don't want to scroll down anymore because my phone number's in there but you can see it again at the start Okay, so that is the tutorial over. I really hope this was helpful. I hope it was straightforward and you didn't get confused in anything. Obviously, if you did, just drop it into the comments and I'll try and check it out and get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you are a business and you're looking for a proven AI lead generation system to help you get more leads, then book in for a call. Our calendar link is in the description. Also, feel free to check out our website. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for your time. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.